What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to War Thunder, I'm your host MK Gaming. So today we are flying out a very special plane of mine, I love this particular plane, it is none other than the Spitfire F Mark 9. Today we are flying over the map Aru in an operation alongside my one of my close squad mates Darren who is flying also the similar plane. Now this is one of the best tier 3 Spitfire planes that I've actually ever flown. It sits at rank 3 with a battle rating of 4.3, a top speed of 650 km per hour, a turn time of 17.2 seconds and a rate of climb of 19.3 meters per second. It's also armed with four 7.7mm uh, Browning machine guns commonly found in uh, most Spitfires of this particular type and it's armed with two 20mm Hispano Mark II cannons. Now I love this particular Spitfire mainly because it sits at a battle rating uh, which was recently actually buffed up mainly because of its superiority with among uh, pro players. So Gaijin decided to up uh, the BR. Don't particularly agree with that decision but um, you have to understand this plane still performs just as good uh, in that race BR and I will actually be showing you in this particular game. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So the first thing I did was I put the plane in a steady climb of 3,800 meters. That was basically the optimal height that I wanted to reach, uh, mainly because I feel like the plane performs quite well at this particular al altitude. Um, however, uh, people do also say that the plane performs much more higher. However, it's just a personal preference. You can actually fly it on your own. So when I saw this particular enemy in front of me, I thought it was the, the none other than the Messier Smith, but then it turns out he was just a level 10 guy. Um, so right now, me and my squad mate Darren are flying side by side. I do let him know that I am coming uh, close to a hornet's nest below. I'm slowly tailing Messier Smith, but I am contemplating on engaging the horde that is below me. So I'm just stunning and I see another 109 approaching me. Uh, he looks AFK for a moment and then he turns towards me and I don't want to go head on because I realized it was a G2 throb. I told Darren uh, he can go and engage that guy. I for a brief second uh, saw Spocker Wolf down on the deck. The Messerschmitt uh, 109 is actually turning down. So I said good for me. Keeping an eye on my 6. Um, one thing you have to note about the Spitfire is do not dive uh, uh, immediately uh, towards the target. You got to slow it down mainly because the wings do not handle so well at uh, dive speeds. It will shear off. Um, the first target that I see is this uh, Focker Wolf 19 and I'm thinking of engaging him mainly because the 109 is slowly catch, uh, going away from me and I can't really catch up with that 109 at that particular dive. Uh, energy retention is much more better on that 109. I, uh, Darren does uh, notify me of a 109 that's currently engaging me. No problem for me. I just turn the plane towards a uh, turn and uh, 109 overshoots. Uh, the strengths of the Spitfire is its turn capabilities. However, you do need to pay attention to what's happening around you. At this particular point, I had three planes that were about to engage me. Two of them is currently engaging me. Um, the 109 and the Focke 190 with another 109 slowly coming up uh, to engage me. Um, Darren, however, is caught in his own fur ball right now because uh, he says that uh, he's engaging uh, the Focke 190. Did not realize that the 109 was coming towards him. I put the plane up to a vertical just a little bit, but then I realized the Focke was diving down towards me. Don't want to do that. So I put the plane into inverted S, a little barrel rolls, and I push it down. At this point, I got a little bit of a hit from that Focke Wolf. Uh, Darren uh, was trying to get that guy off me. Um, I told Darren uh, the Focke Wolf is going back on a vertical towards his 6. Now the 109 is currently engaging uh, Darren as well. I put the plane up to full power, angle it, and boom. Focke Wolf loses his wing, first kill of the match. And now I set my attentions up somewhere else. Darren does receive an uh, 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 assist, but he still has the Focke Wolf F4. It's on his tail, and I told Darren you have to bring him down uh, lower because I can't reach that altitude without getting sniped or shot by AA. And then this particular point happens. I get a little bit of hits on the 109, not enough to kill him. Um, I do feel that Darren should have at least turned because he's got now two 109s engaging him. 
Soon they're going to be turning their attentions towards me and it's just going to be crazy. Um, Darren does get shot down eventually. Um, I feel bad for him though because I tried to save him and I couldn't. I aim for this guy. Nothing so far. I just got a, a bit of a good hit on his engine. He is trailing smoke. Put the plane back on a vertical. Water Knight shouldn't have done that. Got slightly more hits onto him. And then after I put the plane down towards an invert S. Because I know there's another 109 coming up towards me. And this particular point I was incredibly like focusing on multiple targets. And it was really, really, really uh, tricky. I did see this guy coming up uh, towards me a while back. Um, I did see that this F4 gave me enough sight. Second kill of the game. And the third kill comes very shortly afterwards. This 109 just gives me a vertical and I do not miss shots like that. Ladies and gentlemen, third kill of the game. Uh, two in quick successions. Uh, achieved the Shadow Strike, uh, shadow Streak uh, for three kills and uh, the double strike. I do set my sights on this next 109 who is currently uh, engaging... Uh, I'm not too particularly sure. Maybe it was the cross but he's coming very much closer towards me. Uh, and I'm not going to let a 109 go um, away. However, I'm not also going to go head on. Allies get a good hit onto him. And this is one particular point where I felt the 109, I'm not too sure what he was doing. I got a good hit on him. And he's out. Fourth kill of the game. I was very actually lucky not to get uh, shot by one of my allies there. And then after that, I realized, okay, I'm running low on ammunition, and I told, told myself maybe I should go back and uh, rearm and reload. And also, uh, it doesn't hurt to refuel the plane, seeing that I will be in a long engagement. I do point my plane towards the closest runway, which is the forward base uh, situated at a D4 on the map. However, things are going to get a little bit hairy. Now, I initially reached back the runway and I was actually about to land when I realized that the two remaining enemies on the team are currently coming back to engage me. Of course, I meant the fighters. Uh, forgive me. There's still a BB-238 high above, as you can see. But I realized that the Heinkel 219 is coming towards me and so is the 109. So I still have quite a bit of ammunition. I'm guessing it was probably about 300 to 200. Uh, I think I had 300, 7.7s and about less than 120 mils so i really had to make my shots count um yeah so the 109 goes on a vertical and i'm not going to catch him because he's that's his particular element he's got enough altitude to gain back all the energy that he lost however the heinkel 219 is coming towards me i'm not going to go head on with uh, 430 mils that's just suicidal um, so I put the plane up to a little bit of a spiral. I know that 109 is slowly coming towards me. Dodged away. This 219, not too sure what exactly he does. I start shooting him with uh, machine gun fire and also cannon. I think I will split the fire at this particular point, mainly because I need to save the ammunition. And the 109 strafes the typhoon on the runway. I don't particularly like that style of engagement, mainly because there's no honor in that. Um, I would have at least let the Typhoon take off and uh, put a little bit of fight on that part. But, you know, different players, different accord. Now, I do start spraying 7.7s. So I get a good hit on his right engine. He is trailing oil. Still not enough, though. He does something, and I realize, all right, got to take the shot, aim for the right wing. And boom, he's out. Fifth kill of the game. Got an ace in a day. Uh, but the fight's not over yet. The 109 is still lurking high. Uh, the last two enemy targets, which is the 109 and the 238 uh, bomber. I do pop smoke to uh, let my teammates know uh, to make it quick because I am dangerously running low on ammunition. I've got to make this uh, kill count. M however, my teammates are currently very much far away. Um, so it's just basically me against him. I do have AA engaging him, but you have to understand that the forward base AA isn't as strong as the main base AA. So don't expect your AA to do much damage uh, against the enemy if uh, they are currently doing strafings or, you know, circling the base. It is not as OP as the, the main one, which is situated somewhere around F4 or 5. <coughs> so right now this 109 is currently uh, 
going away from me. However, I am slowly catching up towards him. Um, even at this particular point, my engine was slightly hot. I could still keep up with him. And the 109 realizes that I am slowly gaining uh, speed and altitude towards him. Um, maybe not now, but you will notice that my plane will slowly start to pick up and uh, chase him back. He will go into a dive uh, not too long uh, from now to gain back some speed and uh, try to um, uh, break away from me. As you can see, I am really gaining speed on him right now. I'm not too particularly sure what happened to his plane. Um, maybe he was killing up the engine to cool off. It was overheating, I guess. Maybe that is the logical reason because I don't think he would run out of fuel at this particular point. Uh, didn't strike me that he would actually go this deep into the map uh, without much fuel. So I kind of knew that he was cooling off his engines. Um, it's better for me though because the Spitfire cools off much more quicker than the 109. In my personal experience, uh, I could vary though. So yeah, I'm currently now less than a kilometer away and this is where he does his slight turn and he realizes, oh shit, I don't think I can do this. So he puts the plane into a dive and I'm not going to go up and um, follow him. One funny part though, my engine does die out over here because of the carburetor and I was uh, on zero throttle at this point to cool off my engines to the max uh, so that this guy can... Um, Gain a bit of a lead for a bit, but then I would catch up on him. And see, even on a dive, I am slowly catching out him. But this particular point, I was not on full throttle and I realized my mistake. Punched it back up. And yeah, so right now the chase is happening. Um, the 109 is currently gaining a little bit of uh, distance towards me. It's not going to last very long though, because my Spitfire is going to catch up with him pretty darn soon. As you can see, I'm already matching his speed. And the 109 is in trouble. He's in, a, he's in a particular situation where it is my territory. I am going faster than him. He's low altitude. He doesn't have much more energy left. He can't turn fight with me. And he can't even do a U-turn without getting a, a, a proper shot. If he does a tight turn, he's going to kill off all his energy. So he does the one thing left that he can do. And that's going vertical. Never do this particular maneuver. Because... Six kill, guys. Six kill. And I know you guys couldn't see that, but mainly because uh, the replay is just a little bit off at times. I'm not too sure why. But it was a six kill of the game. And I think the BV-238 was eventually shot. Oh, no. He crashed. So that was the game. We ended up winning, and I got six kills uh, and two ground targets. Basically, it was just artillery strikes, and we won. So let's go to the scoreboard, guys. So as you can see from the particular screenshot that I took, I did get six kills, um, two ground targets, a uh, total of 75,000 uh, silver lines without premium account. Um, I haven't really topped up my premium account yet, not really feeling the need towards it. However, I did get uh, 3,670 modifications research, no point seeing that the plane is fully aced. Uh, I got 2,084 uh, vehicle research that's going to be dumped into my Venom FB4. And uh, yeah, so, uh, and as you can see, this is the particular scoreboard, uh, second place in the team. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we did get the best squad in the game. Um, yeah, it's a shame that Darren couldn't actually uh, do much in this game. I do really feel bad, but he was a very good wingman in this particular fight. So guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos in the future. If you want me to do a particular plane, do leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will cover it. And also if you want me to do a review on a particular plane, do also let me know. Till then guys, peace out. I'm out.